Hey, a happy new year to you, my friend. I hope your year is coming on well. It's January 2017 and it's such a beautiful time for me to bring back, guess what? Tidbits of Tasty Tuesdays. Today I want us to look at a situation. Have you been in that kind of a sticky situation when the need is so close and the help looks like it's way out of sight? I want us to look at a situation that I want us to frame from a perspective of yes, you can. You can get out of that sticky circumstance. It's not as bad. You know, yesterday morning, I decided to repost a video that I created last year, just before my exams, about two or three months before my exams. I was in such a way sticky situation. Guess what was going on? I was downright broke. The final exams were like two or three months away. I could not attend lectures just because in this institution that I was uh, attending my lectures, it was uh, not allowed for me to attend lectures if I hadn't paid my school fees and that applied for every other student. Boy was that sticky. It's scary. Final year and I still had no hope of being able to attend my exams. That's one situation. Again, yesterday in the afternoon, I decided to visit a young man, who, such a lovely young man. I've come to learn to call him my son, such a lovely boy. He was preparing to move into a new residence. And he wanted to at least meet me and he wanted us to pray before he could get into the new residence. It's something that I do, it's something that most of the people that I know do. We pray before getting into a new house uh, so that God will take us through, into a, uh, through the new situation. And while we were there, instead of going straight into prayer, we decided to have a conversation. And, you know, it was not even a decision, it just came out. It's a mother-son situation. So we started talking about um, life, things we had planned to do, things we wanted to start off in this year. One of, them, one of the things that was in my mind as we were talking, I actually decided to bring it up, is this sticky situation. Again, sticky situation. I'm going through a situation where I'm very uncomfortable about not even 2017 but 2018 you know I, I have a few a number of projects actually that are coming up but in each one of them I need to start working on them now because of the finances that are required then and because of this and upcoming um, projects without the money to start them it's going to be very sticky now, I explained to my son about these projects in details, you know, I, I open up to him because he's my son and I'm his mom. And we we're talking about this, uh, the sticky situations where money looks like it's way far away. I don't even know where to start. And you know the funny thing, my son decided to remind me of something. He reminded me that I was wallowing and worrying instead of working. He reminded me that life is not a straight line these are situations that will come up anyway he reminded me that i had actually used these principles to help somebody else it's i who was lacking the confidence it's i who was lacking the belief and i had I, when we parted ways after the prayer and he escorted me to the bus stop and i took a bus left when came back to my house i decided to reteach myself again to look back and see what I had told her, what I told myself, what had worked in the past. And today I want to share that. I want to share the tidbits that have worked for me and that have worked for other people that I've been speaking to. And I believe that they too will work for you. Now, the most important thing that I want us to think of in today's tidbits of Tasty Tuesdays, there are three things that I want you to get into your mind before we can even discuss anything else. First, it is not as bad as it looks. It's a sticky situation, that's it. But it is not as bad. I know you're thinking like, ah, yeah, you don't know my situation. That's the same wallowing and worrying I talked about yesterday with my son. And actually he reminded that, me that it's not as bad as it seems. The second thing, it will come to pass. Think of it. Summer comes, winter comes, autumn comes, spring comes, morning comes, evening comes, none of them remains it will come to pass the third thing i want you to remember is that it is here for a very good reason 
it's here for a beautiful, beautiful reason. Now the question is, what are you learning from it? So, as we carry, as we had the long chat with my, my, with my son, something came clear to me. It is obvious that I'd forgotten the first three things that I've taught. It's not as bad as it seems. It will come to pass. It's here for a good reason. I need to learn something from it. So, having put the first two things in mind, it is not as bad. And to come to pass anyway, the question is, what am I learning from it? And what are you learning from your situation? What are you learning from that sticky situation you are in? What did I learn? I learned five good things. One, I needed to keep off linear thinking lane. I hate that lane. Because that lane makes me think that what is there today will happen tomorrow and the day after and the day after and next year and next year but one it's called linear thinking the way things are today will not be the same tomorrow that's why today it's windy and tomorrow it won't be or probably be so still you'll be shocked so get off the linear thinking lane everything changes the sun rises the sun sets today you're in that sticky situation look at me Sometime last year, I didn't even think I'd get a degree. I thought I would just have to defy and go out and look for a bigger job and get the money so that I could come and pay my school fees. It wasn't that bad. And look at me today. I graduated on 9th of December with a first class honors in Bachelors of Business Information Technology. Come on, get off that linear thinking lane. Things are, all, are not a constant. Nothing is constant. Nothing is linear. Second thing I want you to think about is to keep to the thin path of faith. Why am I saying it's thin? It's really thin because we keep falling off faith. The only reason as to why this problem has shown up this early, it is to give you a head start so that you can start working. Have you ever thought of that? Why didn't it show up right now and the money is needed right now? It's because you're required to get a head start. You want to start up early and run and run and run before the time comes. Work and work and work. So don't worry your hair gray or even worry your head bald like mine, you know. Yeah, don't worry about it. When I shared my situation yesterday with my son, he gave me, he opened my eyes. Last year when I shared my problem on a video, using a video and put it on social media, guess what? The first thing that came to my mind is start crowdfunding and I did and my fees was paid in full. I have graduated. I thank God for that. The third thing I want you to think of is keep going. Stop walking. I've heard of this speaker who says, if you're going through hell, keep walking. Yes, keep walking. It's tough. It's painful, but don't sit there. Don't sit there and wallow and worry in your pain. Walk. Walk. Speak to somebody. You know, as long as the world is going round, why should you sit at the same position? Knock doors. Think of it this way. There's a whole large network of people that you know. The problem you're going through today is definitely in somebody else's mind as a solution. So knock someone's door. Ask. A-S-K. Ask. The only reason as to why you're stuck up is because you're not asking. The fourth thing I want us to talk about or to think about is keep your vision within a line of sight do not forget why you started do not forget why this whole story began it's a problem just because you're not able to solve it right now but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have a solution as i just told you today i'm a holder of a bachelor's degree i never thought this would be possible but what happened is i started keeping talking to people and i started desiring redesiring over and over again that I wanted this degree it was important to me and the more I kept the vision within line of sight the more it became possible and finally fifth thing keep a close confidant who will remind you what the vision is all about so that the sticky situation does not dictate your life why am I saying this you're only human with time just like me you will wallow you will worry you will get off the lane you will you will actually find yourself linear thinking you will start seeing yourself stagnant i'm thankful there are two friends who really helped me during who have helped me during the tough times 
One is a friend of mine whom I call BJ, whom I'd call and tell when I had a problem with my school fees and he would encourage me. Not necessarily that he'd send me money, but he definitely encouraged me. And in the yesterday situation, when I spoke to my son, he reminded me. He reminded me that there were people looking up to me. The people whom I had mentored, the people whom I had encouraged, the people who are actually expecting me starting next Monday to go to work, go to the innovation hub, manage the innovation hub, speak to the people. That there are a lot of expectations. And the minute that you start forgetting who you are, there should be somebody to remind you. The minute the sticky situation becomes like a goddess to you, remind it there is somebody that I can speak to. So keep a close confident, a confident who will remind you. My son told me yesterday, Mom, have faith. The amount of money you need in 2018, or even in the end of this year, it is nothing compared to the abundance that is coming your way. Wow, awesome. He said it is nothing compared to the abundance that is coming my way this year. What about you? Are you feeling so low and allowing your goals to get off the line of sight? Are you wallowing and worrying instead of walking and working? Instead of knocking doors? Remember these three things that I started with. One, it's not as bad as it seems. And it will definitely come to pass. I know that. And it is here for a very good reason. Now, you need to replay this video over and over so that you can remind this. You can be reminded of this. Because the minute you forget, the minute you encourage the worry, I'm telling you, you're not going to be gaining it, you're going to be losing it. You're going to be losing hair on your head. It's of no good use. Speak to somebody, keep moving, keep growing, you know, and let your confidence know that which you need to do so they keep reminding you. I look forward to hearing your testimony. So make sure you comment right down here so that Immediately after you have watched and rewatched, you can tell me your situation. Let's share. Let's talk about these things. Let's put the sticky situation down. Let's melt them and wash them away with evidence because we are very victorious. We are comfortable people. We are, we are, we are happy people. We are not comfortable right now, but we will be comfortable the more we share our issues. Thank you very much. I hope to see you sometime. And that is definitely next Tuesday, God willing in the next episode of Titbits of Tasty Tuesdays. And yes, you can get out of that sticky situation. Bye.